Yeah, we're being a PNG today because I just got out of the shower. I had to use a flashlight at 7 p.m. to check my mailbox. Why is daylight saving times like this? Honestly, though, like, I feel like daylight savings time is part of the reason why so many people have, like, such bad seasonal depression. It's fucking stupid. And I hate it. It sucks when I, like, I get home at, like, quarter to six and it's already, like, completely fucking dark outside. Welcome to the 10 minute power hour. I'm, I'm Danny. Danny. I don't, don't want to do this. this. <laughs> <laughs> Evening lost. How you doing? Welcome to stream. Um. Hello, hello. So I have been playing a bit between streams, just kind of grinding and stuff. Um, so I've leveled up some things. I'm okay, sleepy. Honestly, same. I get home and I can't do anything outside. Exactly. Exactly. That is that is the issue here. Um. See, so yeah, I've been kind of derping. Uh, where is it that I wanted to go? Yeah, I wanted to go over here. Yeah. Hell yeah, Genshin Obsession, let's go. <laughs> Genshin's great. My hyperfocus is definitely waning a little bit, but it's a good time. So, my plan for now is to, um, get through some story shit. So the first thing we're gonna do is go take down Team Star. Are you ready to challenge? Wait, no. First three in the party? Okay. And they're supposed to be dark types. So let's see what I have that I could do that against pretty easily. Uh, where is... Where my boy? Actually, my girl, because it's a lesbian quack. There you are. Hello. You are coming with me? Actually, I'm going to keep you in your party. Um, fuck it. Let's go. Ding, ding. Beep, Kurt. Some kid lucked out beating some, one of our sister squads, and now she thinks she can take us on? Time to give her the boot, gang. Let's show this Gatecrasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gatecrasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Oh, really? Easy clap. Go guys, go. More Pokemon. Give unto me. Kick some ass. Okay, um... More. Hello. Uh, but wait, there's more. So I can walk in if I and take over if I don't bother with Pokemon? Thanks for making it easy on me, right? Um. Hello there. That's not the threat they think it is, right? Okay, cool. Okay, here's some more. Here comes the hurricane, bitch! Here comes the hurricane, bitch! Here comes the hurricane, bitch. Go. OK. 
Okay, uh, more Pokemon. Hello. Get him. Two more. Go. Here comes the hurricane, bitch! <laughs> Fuck yeah. She's way above her level. We gotta get the boss. Oh my god. Do they all have stupid cars like this? Boss of Team Star's Dark Crew. Giacomo. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Cache, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Oh my god. <laughs> Disco balls and shit. <laughs> nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry. I'll play you a sick Requiem as you crash and burn. Oh my god. Let's get this party started! Let's get it started in here! Let's get it started! Ha! Oh my god. This boy. Oh my god. He's got a laptop and he's making beats. I'm gonna raffle stomp you. I hope you know this. You don't really think things through, do ya? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. I am overleveled. Welcome. You're gonna die. <laughs> oh god. Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Oh my god. Now I fight the car. Intimidate. <sighs> you know what? You're just gonna get earthquake. <laughs> How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, party crasher. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, really? What? That put me to sleep? That put me to sleep? That move put me to sleep. Whatever, you die now. Yeah, I beat up your car. <laughs> the look on his face, though. <laughs> oh my god. Guess that's that. Yeah, you bet your ass it was. About a year and a half ago... Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to take on, just wanted to take some on some stuff. So we had to chat and settle on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we got to make them some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice! You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Ha! <laughs> no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rolls on everyone and they wouldn't take it. We, we got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. 
My point exactly. So you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. Oh, Muffin, thanks for putting some points toward Hades. You've heard our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council pres isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now? I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would ya? Yay, we're gonna go make beats together. I'll give you this choice TM too. You earned it fair and square. Oh, nice. Cool. Haha. <laughs> so this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy? Like what moves you should use and stuff? Yeah. Huh. Okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? Yeah. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa! Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. <laughs> <laughs> you get a quacks while the style it up for you. <laughs> I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure. I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks. I'll get straight to it. It seems all you Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why would you break up the team and start attending classes at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. Though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal. A close friend- a clo- bleh, 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 bleh. This is why we need voice acting in Pokemon. A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all the team's star. Like, how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. Whoa! <laughs> Cue up Metal Gear Solid 3. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Outer Heaven. <laughs> Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep press pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So, Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Heh, <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Aw. Maybe the treasure was the team star we made along the way. Wait, what? Ra -da 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 -da. Or Giacomo's dope beats. <laughs> yeah. Keish, it's me. I take it that Giacomo's star badge is now in your possession. Ye. I see. With its boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Giacomo. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Hi. More TMs, nice. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials, too. Hi, Penny. Uh, hello, it's me again from the supply unit. What? What? What in the heck? Hey, stop that! Ah, somebody help! 
My dog likes you, Penny. There's nothing you can do about it. Ugh, it drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? To be honest, I have no idea. Huh? I'm amazed you're so calm with a giant question mark of a Pokemon at your side. <laughs> uh, um, before I forget, here's a reward. Yay! Um, your name's Keish, right? Since you're part of Operation Storefall Battle Unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? I mean, they're pretty strong. Fire Chick almost kicked my ass. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these Mythfists and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But, um, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. What? Penny! I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm. I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. We're taking away their safe spaces. I don't like that. Mood? Yeah. I want to do something. Damn it. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. Um, I need to put something else in my party to evolve. God, this thing pisses me off. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's grab this. Why not? Alright, let's go. Let's go! Okie dokie. So, yeah, now we can go this way. Hello there. The barricade over there is part of a Team Star base. Team Star is trouble, so batter me instead. Bruh. You know what he looks like? He looks like that one, like... The dude from that one couple on TikTok. Like, there's Jeremy, and then there's the guy with the ADHD. He looks like that guy. Anyway, he has a magic harp. Your magic harp's gonna fucking die, dude. Eat. Eat the fish. Uh, Aracuda? Yeah, we'll switch. Let's bring out Plankton. It's Paul Blur Mark. <laughs> Paul, Paul Club Bart Mall. <laughs> God damn it, lost. <laughs> Good shit. Ooh, Aracuda. Where the fuck do you know Peck? We're dying. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Aracuda. <laughs> Guess I couldn't trick you with even such a slick battle invitation. Dude, you used a fucking magic harp. I don't know what you expected. No, you are absolutely not the only one that says that. Alright, let's... Yo, there's one of the gimme ghouls. Thank you. Yeah, give me that kern. 
All right. So I think the next thing to do is this thing. I think that's the next one to do. So we'll go there. I have like these like potato straws. They're pretty good. Mm, which direction do I need to go? I need to go south a little. So that I can go this way. Oh yeah. All right, I'm going. I'm going the right way, right? No, I want to go this way. I have to do them. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I want to go that way. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. Uh welcome back to welcome back to Death Mountain. It's called Death Mountain because you will die. Oh god. What the fuck? Bomb bombardier. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> I like I was just like flying into the fucking wall. Oh, hey, it's the Fluffy Boy. Okay, so you managed to get the Titan somehow, huh? So that's the Open Sky Titan. Wait, is this Titan what's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had a, all its attention on you, little bud. Looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. So we better be ready to go all out. Yeah, okay. I don't like it. Okay, let's see how I do with Stone Edge. Trying to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a good taste of defeat. No. Stone Edge. <laughs> oh no, it was a crit! Unnecessary crit, let's go. No, you must die! Basically. Good job, Pupitar. Hey. I don't need thrash. Yes, way to go, Cage. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? Aw. Let's go. I like him. He's fluffy. <laughs> there has to be more of that Urba Mystica in there. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. Okay. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. I knew it! Do it! I knew it! <laughs> it really is here. This is one of the herbs, make no mistake. Okay. <laughs> Who 
we did it. Thanks, Cage. You're welcome. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter Herbs Mystica is great for your circulation. It really gets your blood flowing. And that warms you right up nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Cage? Time to dig in. Hell yeah. Make me a sandwich. Let me whip something up for us. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. It's like that one TikTok where it's like... Ooh, da, da, da. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> what? <laughs> and Bob's your uncle? What? No, Bob is my grandpa. What is he doing to those sandwiches? Do you really still want to eat those? <laughs> I don't know. Here you go, my special whimsical herb field super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan Badge as a token of my gratitude, of course. Thanks. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't want to eat that sandwich. <laughs> I don't know what he did to it, but I don't want it. I look so concerned. I can't eat the Titan Badger, right? What the fuck? This is the greatest image. This is the greatest picture so far. I don't even care. Oh my god. Hello. Oh, come on, you again? He's like, sandwich? You know what, I was looking super concerned. Miraidon, you can have it. Gib, gib now. Noms for me, basically. <laughs> Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. Aw, thanks. I definitely, absolutely did not make an extra so that Miraidon could have a sandwich, okay? Oh my god, this boy, the fluffy boy's a sundere. Miraidon is Lulu whenever I eat a meal, oh my god. In my case, that would be George. Fucking sundere. That was... Oh, I can surf now. Nice. Did it grow stronger again? Man, these Urban Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they'd better or else I'm really up the creek. Don't you dare touch that. That isn't for you. Oh, he mad. Uh, sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story. Sandwiches made me remember how to swim. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> Basically. Come on out, bud. Aw. This is my my boss stiff, my partner. Aw, old puppy. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. Aw, doggy's sick. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Well, potions and things don't work? Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon centers, nothing. 
My boss stuff is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. Wow, butt spot. Nice appearance there. I also do wonder what happened. Yeah. So I promised I'd make him better. Whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. What is that book? I found it in my dad's lab. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and have attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things. Stuff nobody would usually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabostiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb. But they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Aww. Oh, you done eating, bud? Aww. Aww. Hey, Mabostiff, can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it. It's it's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I'm I'm so uh, stop making me feel things. <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I thought Arvin was super annoying until this scene. I mean, he is kind of... He's a little annoying, but, like, I also kind of get him. I'm gonna bring the boss stuff back to full health. I swear it. Oh, um, yeah. So that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them. Together. Ah. But not you! <laughs> Aw, he's just trying to help his dog. Bring, bring. Hello, Case. This is Toro. I detect that Maridon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Yay! Professor Daddy. <laughs> I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Maridon. Sweet. Yay. Okay. Um, what's next? I guess next is... What's her face? This bitch. Just how closely are you stalking this crypto dad? <laughs> crypto dad! I like that. Crypto data. <laughs> okay, um. You know, it says that there's a raid thing right here. Um, so let's go check that out. Where's the. Where is it? He looks like the sort of tech bro who'd try to sell you crypto or NFTs. <laughs> no, he definitely does look like a crypto dad. It's just funny. Okay, let's do it. It's a rock. Let's fucking do it. He 
he does look like a crypto dad, which is funny. Let's do the raid. And I like these more than the Dynamaxes, to be honest. Those the music's in here is fun. I mean, you're going down, but. I'm not gonna catch it. Goodbye, Pichu. those candies I got. Oh, that's not enough? Okay. Ooh, what is your news, Tifla? Please share with us your news. <laughs> news boy. <laughs> Oh, I don't have one of you yet. Hello? Lay down the cloth. <laughs> Halt, citizen, you violated the cloth. Good luck with your audition. Holy shit, please please keep us posted. Please. I greatly appreciate it. Those are all mons I have. All right, to the gym. Is that fucking Leon? Hang on. Oh my god. What is that advertisement? Oh, that's cute. That's cute as hell. <laughs> this fucking breakfast cereal. Okay. Call back in late February. Oh, okay. Good luck. Please keep us posted. Okay. To the gym. Foy Coco loops. Yeah. Foy Coco puffs. But they were loops, but. Cage, it's me, <laughs> Nimona. Stop. How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? Wait, seriously, I'm close by. Hang on, I'll come say hi. Nimona, you fucking yandere. Hey, hey, hey. Foy Coco Krispies. Ooh. Yeah, I can get behind that. Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome. And um, this is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up for the challenge for sure, but like, just to be safe, you probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Okay. Yeah, there's that enthusiasm. Now let's go. Come on, the field of battle awaits. Namono, what the fuck? <laughs> Namoku. 
Well, I'm gonna cook giraffe. Maybe. Before you take on a gym, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see where the court is, what it's made of, stuff like that. Those things might affect how the battle goes. You know, Keish, one look at your face and it's obvious that you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I started introducing you to some of my harder hitters. Alright, ready? Why are we fighting in the rain? Let's have a fruitful battle. Okay, hi Goku. With the rock rough. Think of this as a practice room for your next gym battle. Come at me with everything you got. Okay. <laughs> everything I've got, you say? <laughs> okay, Pupitar, use Earthquake. Join the rock rough, Johnson. Ooh, nice moves. Your skills are ripe. Your skills sure are ripening. Oh my god. Pommy. You know, just to not be a complete dick. <laughs> Go, silly cobra. Hey, look, it's Pommy. Bulldoze. <laughs> Goodbye. Quackswell. Yeah, let's switch. All hail Plankton. I named him Plankton because he was small. Don't pass yourself on the back just yet. My next Pokemon's gonna turn the tables. Yeah, okay, well. Since you have a Terra Orb too, we can tear Astros or Pokemon fair and square. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm fabulous! I'm fabulous! Pfft. Seed bomb. Goodbye. It's so dramatic. Good job. <laughs> yep, your skills are ripening quick. Thanks. Man, you sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges. Well, that was a great battle. Fruitful for sure. Here, take these as thanks. Thanks. I challenge you again literally right now, but champions have to be understanding. So I'll hang back and respect your time. Keep coming collecting badges for now, and let's battle next time we run into each other at a gym. And, Keish? I hope you get even stronger. Like, way, way, way stronger. And once you do, you and me can just battle our hearts out. Alright, time for you to go whoop that gym test. Thanks for this. Okay, hot take. Nimona is more annoying than Arvin. Is that a hot take? Welcome to the LaVincia Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Keish. Ye. It me. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Iono, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the LaVincia Gym. That means starring in one of Iono's stream. Okay, I guess we're... <laughs> Welcome to... Iona's a streamer as well as a gym leader, so we want you to dazzle her audience with your skills and rack up those subscriptions. <laughs> oh my god. 
God. Just head outside and you'll soon find out what you need to do. Now get out there and have fun. <laughs> Streamception. <laughs> Wait. She uses her gym challengers to make more subscriptions. Alright, everybody, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> we do have a subscriber goal going on. Sounds lucrative? Yeah, I just wonder if it's ethical. Oh yeah, she's awful. She deserves to get crushed. Oh, shit. Okay, here's the thing about Iono. So, like, when her trailer dropped, like, most of my friend group was like, Oh my god, she's so adorable. I love her. I can't stand her. I thought she was annoying. So, hearing Lost say, say that makes me feel a bit validated. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Iono Zone. IDK gym leaders are more like professional athletes, I guess. I guess. But still. She's still annoying. Hey, hey, hey! She was kind of cute in the trailer, but in this, no pass. Oh. Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electroweb. Who... Who's a what's it? Yano, I'm the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Uh, hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Oh, snap, look at you. Already a master of Yano East. Not your first. <laughs> Why is she glitching out? <laughs> is she a VTuber? <laughs> Her body rig's not working. <laughs> you see that? And, uh, help capture non-work, basically. And, uh, I hope this doesn't come as too much of a surprise, but you're being broadcast live to the world right now. Smile. Anywho, Challenger, thanks for coming out to the Lavincia Gym to see me. Hatsune Miku senses arrivals trying to clip her through, <laughs> through the terrain, basically. I'm super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know? I'm all kinds of busy. So I can't collab with you unless I know you can bring out those sweet, sweet viewer numbers. I mean, I gotta make sure you can bring some real passion to my stream. No! See, that, that's what's bothering me. Is that she just, like... And even in the trailer, it was very obvious that she just cares about the numbers. And, like... As somebody that's a live streamer, I hate that this is how I'm being represented. As somebody who just cares about numbers. And not, like, actually just entertaining people, but whatever. And, so, if you want to battle me, you're going to have to help me make this live stream a viral hit first. Got it? Yeah, at least she's transparent, but she's still a shitty human being, apparently. I don't know. I don't like her. I just tell you, you just can't wait to get started. Well, well, well then, allow me to explain the plan. Come on out, Mr. Walksabout. Uh, Director Clive? What the fuck are you doing here? Hello, fellow kids. Okay, what a coincidence meeting you here. Oh, she's glitching out again. <laughs> her, her motion capture's fucking up again. Say what? Do you guys know each other or something? I, I need to fucking capture this. And turn it into a TikTok, maybe. What the fuck? This year, dude had a real aura about him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him up for my dealio here. You are, uh... Too kind. <laughs> well, anywho, Keish. Since you're today's challenger, I'm gonna have you play hide-and-seek with Mr. Walks about here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find him three times and you can consider this gym test passed. We need a better name for this challenge, though. I'll call it... Where in Lavincia is Mr. Walks about? You mean where in the world is Carmen San Diego? You think that title's safe? There's nothing iffy about it or anything, right? Eh, whatevs. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go. Get ready to hide, Mr. Walks about. I feel that I owe the Pokemon League for many a past favor, so I'm more than happy to help. 
do bear with me as I try to do my best to my allocated roll. Oh my god. Oh, thanks, Nightspot. Alright. Do I have, like, a time limit? Mayhap our dappled gentleman is ready. Hey, Mr. Walks about. You good to go? Yes, I am. Yeah, ha ha ready he be. Mr. Walksabout is hiding somewhere in this video, friend, feed friendo. Open those wide eyes like a magnemite and get to searching. Ready or not, here our challenger comes. Oh, okay. I see him. I see you, bitch. Oh dear, it seems you found me. Yeah. Our challenger has found Mr. Walks about. Wowza, you did it. You're one cool kid. Well then, before we move on to the next round, let's make things a little more interesting. You get to have a battle with one of my fans. Get out here, you silly Pokemaniac. Can I, can I go home now? <laughs> Basically. The Iono hype squad is here. Long live the Iono zone. See, and... Oh, God. VTuber fans. Okay, Pupitar, kick this simp's ass. Please just kick this simp's ass. Goodbye. That's what you get for being a simp. Yeah, Marty. Win or lose, Yona hype squad forever. Okay. Yeah, whatever. And you win! Well done, challenger friendo! Time for a change of scenery. Yeah, I don't like that this is how I'm being represented in the Pokémon universe. Here we go! The next stage for my totally rad test! Everyone loves it! The Pokémon Center! Mr. Walks about is once again hiding in the feed somewhere! It's panic! Ah! Find him quick! There you are. Oh, and here I thought I had blended into my surroundings quite well. Nah. Mr. Walks up and found once again. Yes, I knew you were something special. Let's spice things up again before moving on to ye old next round. That's right, it's another Pokemon battle. Get out here, Pokemaniac pal. Welcome back to Sweaty Nerds. <sighs> These things have levitate. Nom. Oh, the Flaffy? Oh, I'm gonna switch over to Silly Cobra just so that I'm not completely wrecking this man. I'm trying to make sure that, like, I have stuff that can evolve in my party so that way I can fill out the Pokedex, because I do want to eventually get the Shiny Charm. So why do I have a million notifications on Discord? Well, you know what I haven't lost you in? My devotion to Miss Iona. That's fantastic. You can win... You can win there for days. We do not care. And you win! Well done, challenger friendo! There's no stopping you, master of seeking and master of battling. You're the real deal. Alrighty then, time for a change of scenery. Z last stage will be this place right here. The battle court where battles are a raging. Can you find out where Mr. Walks about among these randos? Let's find out. Ready, go. Uh, oh, I see him. My, my, admirably done. I hope you will find your treasure in your independent study with just as much ease. Oh. Thanks, fellow kid. Ooh, my subscriber numbers are on the rise like a super fast Electros crawling out of the ocean. What? 
<laughs> er, I mean, congratulations on passing my gym test. Hot diggity dang, what a good time, huh? You had people on the edge of their seats worldwide. I bet I could have some super rad streams by collabing with you, Keish. So hey, when you're ready, just hit up my lobby staff. I'll get you all set up to collab with me lickety split. I'll be ready to go win evs. Yay. I'm not gonna collab with her. She can go fuck herself. <laughs> I do not like her. At all. Alright, let's go. I see Yonu gave your performance a thumbs up. Amazing job, Keish. Well done on clearing the gym test. I can battle the gym leader. Let's go. The supercharged streamer. I just don't like that my side hustle is being portrayed like this. Also, I'm hearing noises from the living room and I don't like it. Alright, what's up, bitch? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Wow, I don't know, finally! Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electroweb. Who's a what's it? Iano. Hello, hello, hola, ciao and bonjour. Hello, hello, hola. It's time for the Iona Zone, everybody! Today's challenger is flying high like a Watril. It's Keish, yay! How you feeling about this battle, Keish? How the heck does she just manifest her, her FSX IRL? Right? Although I think that this is what the feed looks like. How you feeling about this lap battle? Like I can't lose. Let's trash talk her. I don't give a fuck. Hey, hey, we got a lively one here. You make a gnarly influencer, friendo. Alrighty then. Who's ready to see me kick some butt? Looks like you're all getting hyped. Ah, thank you, Munchie Electro King. Yeah, I think we were seeing her phone feed. Let's get the show on the road. How strong is our challenger? I don't know. Let's find out together. Strong enough to kick your ass. You have a burb? I have a rock. Rock beats burb. Give me a battle that'll electrify all my viewer pals. Um, Stone Edge. Fuck your bird. Next is her belly bolt. I wasn't paying attention to her Pokemon's levels. But whatever, let's bring out Silly Cobra for this. At least this theme's sexy. That berry sacks though. Does. Wait, what? This thing reminds me of Final Fantasy X2. I would. I still need to play Final Fantasy X. Being hit charged it with power. What does that mean? Whatever, get bulldozed, bitch. I'll be doing it at some point next year. Depends on the Wheel of Destiny. I remember you said you were planning on doing all the Final Fantasies. Uh, I'll go ahead and keep it in. Luxio doesn't have as high of defense. Intimidate.
Nom. Goodbye. I'm surprised Belly Bolt's not her ace. Miss Magius. Oh, she's going to do the thing where she turns it into an electric type. So we'll bring out Pupitar again. House smells like food. Go Pupitar. Oh no, this isn't good. Loyal fans, I need to hear you cheering. Give me all you got. Oh, wait. Their abilities don't change when they do the thing, do they? So it's still going to have Levitate, so we should use Stone Edge still. Come forth, Shine of the Light Bulb. I'm not done yet. Iono Power, go! Zippy zip. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Oh, it missed. Do it missed. Oh, I'm so sorry about the ads. <laughs> Goodbye. I win. She fired and she missed. Fuck you. You're as flashy and bright as a 10 million volt thunderbolt, friendo. Yeah, fuck you. Ooh! What is that noise in my right ear? What is that noise in my right ear? Whatever, I have a Breloom now. Yay. Fuck yeah, Mock Punch. Uh, we'll get rid of poison powder. Bo, bo, bo. Our challenger came out victorious. Well done, Cache. Well, you're both so strong. Hate to see it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering on any human, my new oil fans. Uh, what I miss? Uh, I kicked her ass. Well then, what does our challenger get for beating me? The lean, mean, streaming queen? I tell you, Case, you win the big gay dance! <laughs> a gym badge, woohoo! Screen cap this quick, this will be a shot you want to save in your brain spaces forever. I mean, yeah, I guess. The Bizies with three gym badges, Pokepals of up to level 35 will be easier to catch. So listen to you when you ask him to do stuff, too. And as my thanks for such a sweet pick, I'm gonna give you a TM. The snapshots are nice, yeah. Oh, Volt Switch, nice. If any of you found our electrifying battle to be shopping, go smash that subscribe button. Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electric wave. Who's a what's it? Iona here, supercharged streamer. See y'all later. If you guys thought that battle was electrifying, subscribe to my Twitch channel. Mmm. Mmm. Fucking. Fuck this bitch. Pardon me. Hello. Hello there. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? And your name is Keish, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? Yeah. Just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high. Greater heights are within your reach. Oh, but I've gotten ahead of myself. I am Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, and or the organization that runs these gyms. Streamer outstream the streamer. Hell yeah, I did. 
as you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. Okay, goodbye. Okay, I am going to take a quick break because I'm smelling food in the house and I want to know what the hell's going on. So I will be right back. <laughs> 